Helping others invent the future is something that you know is near and dear to my heart. As a professor, we help develop students through their educational career, and now as an entrepreneur, as an investor, what I do is help companies grow. I help companies, successful companies, grow to be larger. As a teacher, it's really fascinating to help students grow. I started at UCLA. UCLA just has such a huge impact on the local community, on Los Angeles and on California. I moved to Rice about 20 years ago, and there. What was really fascinating was to work on the graduate research. One of the things we did was in immunology, we, were, we worked on vaccines. We tried to predict how effective the influenza vaccine will be. And now the technology that we developed, it can help predict how effective the vaccine will be. It can help design the vaccines for next year's. And it's used on six of the seven continents now. Mentoring is something that's really near and dear to my heart because this is what we do as teachers. We develop our students, so we, we mentor our undergraduates, but also we mentor our peers. So we mentor our younger faculty, we mentor our staff. It's an asset that we can bring to the venture capital world that's still pretty unique. So we mentor our companies, we mentor our CEOs, mentor our board members. We also mentor each other. So we mentor our peers, we, we mentor the new partners that come into the firm. And in this way, we develop our ecosystem of creation of driving inventions for the future. So there are some differences between the academic world and entrepreneurship. There are also many similarities. So in both cases, we're trying to create new technologies. We're trying to bring new ideas to fruition. And that's always difficult. So it requires a lot of persistence to be successful in both fields. One difference is that in academia, we're usually working more alone, maybe with our group. As an entrepreneur, we're working with our company, we're working with my network of venture capitalists, we're working with other CEOs from other companies, and we're working within this ecosystem that's bringing change to the world. We're bringing positive change, we're developing new technology, we're developing the economy of the US and the world for the better. We're starting to see some of the funds now bring in some faculty members as full-time partners. One of the things we do well in academics is we characterize and we measure our systems and processes. And in the life sciences, this is something that we really need to focus on. We need to do a good job of that. Biology and life sciences are generally very, fairly messy and unpredictable. So the better we can characterize them, the more successful our companies will be, the better we can also develop our human capital. The future for me, you know, at my stage, I'd like to perhaps be CEO of one or two or three more companies. I'd like to continue on as general partner of a fund, help grow the funds, uh, not only for our investment partners in the fund, but also for our portfolio companies, help them be successful and help them invent the future.